Police have arrested the alleged driver in a deadly hit and run crash in Warwick on Sunday night. He's being held on $50,000 bail tonight. Police say the North Kingstown man killed one person and left the other in critical condition when he drove off from that scene. Hannah Cotter was there as he appeared in court today. Hannah. It was emotional in that courtroom today as prosecutors described what they say happened that night. 24 year old Dennis De Jesus Marcano is facing several felony charges in connection with the deadly crash in Warwick Sunday night. Prosecutors say it all started just before 10 o'clock Sunday when 44 year old Nicholas Cody was walking along Quaker Lane and 26 year old Logan Barboza hit him with her car. They say she called 911 and got out to help when another vehicle drove by, hit both of them, and took off. Uh, as Barboza was tending to Cody in the roadway, the suspect vehicle struck her and proceeded to drive over Mr. Cody and continue uh, southbound on Quaker Lane, and Mr. Cody sustained lethal head trauma from the second strike. Cody was pronounced dead at the scene, and Barboza was rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. Prosecutors say Warwick police used surveillance video to track down that second vehicle, which led them to De Jesus Marcano's North Kingstown home. He's, uh, in speaking with him, he did admit to being at the Rise Dispensary on the night of the 28th, and when asked if he was involved in an accident, he replied that he hit something. He didn't know what it was. It was tough to see because it was raining. Detectives obtained a search warrant to look at his car in the driveway and say the fender appeared to have been replaced. They also noticed damage consistent with evidence found at the scene of the crash. Additionally, Miss Barboza's silver beaded bracelet, uh, the remaining piece, was found still embedded in the headlight assembly of the vehicle. De Jesus Marcano is being held on $50,000 bail with surety. Prosecutors say Barboza is still in the hospital. No update tonight on her condition. Reporting in Warwick, Hannah Cotter, 12 News. North Kingstown man is being held on $50,000 bail, accused of killing one person and seriously injuring another in a crash here on Sunday night in Warwick. Hannah Cotter has the latest on what happened in court today. Hannah? 24-year-old Dennis De Jesus Marcano is facing several felony charges. He's accused of taking off after the crash. Dennis De Jesus Marcano facing a judge today in connection with a deadly crash that left one person dead and another person seriously hurt. Prosecutors say 44-year-old Nicholas Cody was walking along Quaker Lane in Warwick Sunday night when 26-year-old Logan Barboza hit him with her car. They say she got out to help and called 911, but that's when another car drove by, hitting both people. Cody was pronounced dead at the scene and Barboza was badly hurt. Is consisting of numerous broken bones, internal bleeding, and was transported to the hospital where she remains today. Police say surveillance video showed the suspect vehicle leaving a nearby marijuana dispensary minutes before the crash, which led them to De Jesus Marcano's North Kingstown home, where they say damage on his car matched the evidence left at the scene. And they noticed that there was recent or new damage to the headlight assembly. The fender also appeared to have been replaced with the old fender in the backyard. De Jesus Marcano does not have a prior criminal record, and the judge noted that $50,000 seems high for bail, but prosecutors said they had concerns. Uh, based on the fact that he fled from the scene, that he actually worked on the car to repair it after the fact, um, gives the state uh, some pause as to his cooperation with further court dates. De Jesus Marcano will also have to have his license suspended and give up his passport as part of those bail conditions. Reporting in Warwick, Hannah Cotter, 12 News.